Oh man, buckle up in the first half. NC State head coach Kevin Keats received back-to-back -back technicals and was thrown out of the game versus Wake Forest. But that would be only the first two of eight total techs and four ejections in the game. My goodness, this was a while when old school ACC fans remember when any game between the Big Four was just magic. Tonight was a throwback of sorts simply because of the explosive nature of this game. Eight total technical fouls along with Kevin Keats and some players being ejected. What a game. Wake Forest and NC State 4-1 and one in ACC play before tonight. Things were all good at the beginning. Ball was singing early for Wake Forest getting wide open shots. Andrew Carr for three. He had 19 first half points. Wake up by Nine. DJ Burns playing through a stomach bug tonight. Still able to work it out on the inside. Tough shot gets to the fall. State within a pair. Deeks get four free throws after Keats is ejected. State down by 10 at the break. Wake will then hold on to the lead most of the second half. Gonzaga transfer Hunter Salas with the mid range and then Wake is up 11. State kept fighting though. Look at that. Two in the middle. Floats it up for the runner right there. Ben Middlebrooks having a game, and he's going to drive the baseline, and he's going to get the foul and the bucket. NC State wins 83-76. to This was a game where we were at home. We didn't make shots. Um, guys came in, and we had to refuse to lose mentality. And I think I love that part about it. No, that was a big win for this team, a big step in our season. Uh, it took a lot for us to win that game, you know, losing our head coach, losing one of our teammates down late in the stretch. Uh, I think that was just a great example of how together we are and how together we can be. We've been through a lot of battles this year. I mean, we've had OT game against Boston College. We had Notre Dame. We were down the whole game. I mean, it didn't lead to the last second with the game winner. I mean, so we've been through battles, and we go at it every day in practice. I mean, 100%. And I feel like, you know, doing that has really prepped us for games like this when it gets heated, when it gets going, and, and we're prepared for it.